Hands of Christ here in Duluth is the work that they're doing is inspirational, but it's life changing. It gives our community hope. They're helping folks with uh, whether it's food, rent, utilities, uh, financial counseling. They have books for children. And this is the type of thing that our communities rely on. This is what makes America special is that we come together and help our neighbors. And I'm just so proud of the work they do here and I'm just humbled to be here today. Oh, I wanna raise awareness of you know, what the efforts in our community to make sure that we're helping our neighbors and to thank the good folks, the volunteers here for the work that they're doing. And also make sure that we understand what's at stake here. Um, it's important that we help one another, but also that we help people get back to work, that we preserve their jobs because that's their opportunity, the way to cl climb the ladder. And it's how so many Georgians get their health care. And we've got to make sure we protect their health care, particularly at this time, because you know we were facing an unprecedented uh, crisis in terms of health, economic challenges. And the best way to get through that is helping one another and delivering the relief that we need, whether it's here at the local level or in Washington. Well, I, of course, want to wish Georgians a very happy Thanksgiving. Encourage Georgians to also follow the health guidelines to keep our families and our friends and our communities safe. And just to thank them for all of their efforts today to keep our state running smoothly and a special blessing out to the frontline workers who have kept our economy going throughout this challenging year.